Best man in the NFL. Seattle Sports Radio 950, KJR. All right, Puck and Slickhawk back with you here on Sports Radio 950, KJR. Nooner coming up at, at noon. But who look, we got Kenyon Martin in studio, of course, the big three league taking place this Sunday at Key Arena. Uh, the semifinals, yes, uh, tickets sir. on sale, big3.com slash tickets. And then the guy who, who founded the whole thing yes, sir. is sitting to your right, Legend. and you're listening to him right now. Yes, sir. Now, do you know why people in Seattle love this song? Why well, <laughs> because it's literally, I'm pretty sure, the only rap song that has the supersonics in it. Even though it's now, talking about them getting beat? Yeah, we're talking about them getting beat. But just to mention. No, the, just to mention, you're uh, right, Kenya. But the, the, and the level of pride now, listen, there's only one team in the NBA that could rhyme with chronic, so I get why they were thrown in. There was, it wasn't going to be like the Suns or, or, the, or, he doesn't, or like the Timberwolves. See, he knew, something, listen, one he knew something then that yeah. other people didn't know. Like, laws have changed. Yeah, laws have so, changed. You know what I'm saying? Here right. in y'all lovely city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, uh, laws have changed. He's a visionary, you know what I'm saying? Black Walk Disney over this joint. That's all about. Let's get it. Did you call him the Black Walt Disney. Yes. <laughs> Cute, I love that. man. Hey. That's actually a great nickname. Hey, everything he, hey, listen. We, we call it Mark Disney. <laughs> talking about it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything he's done, listen, man, it's been a success, man, since he's been a teenager. Yeah, you know, there he is. Think I, about it, man. Ice Cube, the yes, founder sir. of the big three. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Thank you. Well, how is it, Kenyo? I think yeah. I, I don't know if I asked you this earlier. I think I asked Scalabrini and, uh, and Ricky Davis this, but the fact is that the guy who started this league was yeah. sitting next to you. I mean, I would assume that when you were growing up, Definitely. you were listening to him. Definitely. And now that he is, you're kind of you're working with him and working for him. Still listening to him to this day, but nah, man, it's just an honor, man, to be a part of this. Um, for him to um, believe that I could still play and approach me personally um, yeah. and ask me to be a part of this, man, it was a no-brainer um, you know, for myself. We'll get into how the, how the league started. I think when coming up at the top of the hour, Q. But do you? How do you get along? You being Kenyon, being a, a Cowboys fan. Yeah. You well, being a Raiders fan. Yeah. I mean, are there tensions? We, we don't discuss you, those nothing. Things. Not yet. Nothing not yet. So, no football season hasn't started those. yet, but right. we're gonna get together. I'm saying we both live in Los Angeles, so we're gonna get together, watch some games. Now and there's we'll a chance. To, hey, there's listen. a chance that you, these two teams will meet in the Super Bowl. Not There's ready a good chance. This. Hey, I think we. Hey, they ain't ready. Listen, hey, listen, yo. I think on the schedule, I think we play the AFC West, man. If I'm not mistaken. Do you guys play this listen, year? If oh, I'm wow. not mistaken. Wait, I know we oh, played. Let me, I, yeah, well, let's, well, if let's I'm look. not mistaken, I think we play the AFC West. Hmm. Well, we've got the Google. We can look it up. Yes, just please, all this modern day technology, they don't need to just, guess. To see, to see just, if you guys no play, need, what's the wager going to be? Listen, it's what I listen. Make it light on himself. Listen, hey. <laughs> I'm a diehard man. Listen, you are. You I'm are. A, the Cowboys yeah, are yeah, at yeah. Oakland. Wow. Sunday, yes. December seventeenth. Hey, listen. Okay. Sunday night football. My man, we going. We going. <laughs> I see you there. <laughs> Talking about yeah. yeah. So listen, I know that. Listen, one thing I do know, I know my Cowboys, man. Yeah. Here's Kenny. Here's what I would do if I were you. If I would advise you on the bet. Okay. What's now, that? I know you've you've made a lot of money in your time. Okay, yeah. Ton. Okay. Put up all your wealth against all of his wealth. Yes. You just say the winner takes. Wait. 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 Oh, <laughs> we want to be friends after this. Game. Definitely <laughs> after that. Yeah. No, we gonna. Hey, yeah. We might have no, to put a hit out on one another better. after that. No, I want mine. Steak. Steak. You know, steak dinner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, nah, let's, let's yeah, keep it, the, the let's nice keep it friendly. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm nice not a gambler better. anyway. So. Okay, all right. See, no, but I am. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing with me. Like, I tell people all the time, they talk about my Cowboys. I say, like, who's your team? And they tell me their team. I'm like, well, I bet 16, all 16 games of my team, and you bet all 16 <laughs> games of your team, and let's see who come out on top at the end okay, of the season. Okay, so, so give, us, give us a scouting report, Ken, you know, on the, on the Cowboys. Um, we need to get our defense together first and foremost. Um, okay. My defensive lineman. I like the fact that Jalen Smith is. I'm saying he's gonna play this weekend. See how yeah. he's doing. Um, sitting out all last year. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm um, got young DBs. I'm um, excited to see what they can do. Um, I like Heath. I like Brown. Um, of course, as long as Sean Lee in the middle, man. I think we got to. You shot. love Sean Lee. Uh, why? How can Who you? Who doesn't not? love Sean? How Lee? How can you not, man? Yeah. If he's on the field, like he he knows what what everybody's supposed to do. He's game changer. Um, we got to get Zeke's uh, situation together. Yeah, what do you think about that? So it's been a six games. What, what, how do you how do you view the NFL? This is different, I think, than the NBA. But maybe yeah. wrong. where I mean, the, the commissioner of the NFL will be like, "Here you go, hold uh, this. I'll just I'll just give you a <laughs> I'll suspend you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, no what matter happens. what, no yeah. matter what the um, the legal system says. Um, yeah, I guess that's what the commissioner is. Um, job is, I guess. Yeah, but no, it's unfortunate, man, that Zeke put himself in this situation. Yeah. Um, he has to um, realize that he's not just an average Joe. You know what I'm saying? You play for the Dallas Cowboys yeah. now. Um, Give me a, a record. What do you think? I'm saying you're a professional athlete. Um, 
11 and 5. 11 and 5. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be reasonable. But, um, so we get the division. The long as we listen, our division one of the, the toughest divisions in football. Yeah, I'm saying minus can you maybe the Seahawks. Though minus, you think you're really yes. gonna get through the Seahawks? I can't. Why not? <laughs> Chris, Christmas Eve. Why not? Yo, in Dallas. Why not? Seahawks hey. at go to the Cowboys. Hey, I'm, hey, listen, man. Oh, let's get a score prediction. Listen, uh, let's get a score hey, prediction. One on thing. That. Listen, one thing. I, I got a lot of free time in the winter. Yeah, I got a lot of free time, man. I got my son's basketball games yeah. and. Football. That's that's my life during that time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah, it's whatever with me, man. So you're a Cowboys fan, but you're not a Mavericks but, fan growing up in yeah, Dallas. You yeah, were you're yeah, a, a bad boy. I was a Pistons, boys, fan. Was a Pistons oh, yeah. fan, man. Yeah. So um <laughs> Yeah, but no, I'm Texas Rangers, I'm Cowboys, I'm Dallas Stars. Yeah. You like hockey? Yeah, I've been to a few hockey nice. games. Um, it's better live than watching on television. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Um, no question. But, no, I'm, uh, but I'm excited to see the relationship uh, and um that Dak and um, um, Dez, yeah. you know I'm saying, has developed. You know what I'm saying? Because we need that. Cube, I got, your that. Ne- I got your next idea. You know what three you got? On, three on three hockey. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be yeah. tough. The big ice. Oh, man. That'd the big three tough. ice. Okay, we can do that together. Let's talk after <laughs> you this. And me. Let's talk after how, this. How, Cube, how, what has he meant to the league? I mean, all the guys mean something to you, but what has Kenya meant to the league? Cornerstone. Yeah. Cornerstone of the league. He, he set the tone. You know, uh, uh, from every aspect, he set the tone in guys signing uh, and being a part of the league. He's the first one to not just say, yeah, Q, I'll do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But actually, well, we're, we're, we're the paperwork. Let's go. You know, and so other guys follow. Uh, he's a leader, so guys are going to follow him. And setting the tone, you know, when we had our first, like, just – practice game like yo let's just see what this look like let's just get six guys together and see what it looked like playing three on three and setting the tone let them know it's real it's not we ain't out here playing and just keeping that edge um from the combine to the draft to the season uh I think it's really what people been like waiting for is like Guys like this able to be themselves on the basketball court uh, without, you know, having to harness who he is and what he's about. And you get to see a pure man, you know, playing a pure game the way he wants to play it. And that's just it's something great about that because that's what we see when we go to the playground. Ain't nobody going to harness you when you when you playing against your brother or you playing against, you know, your cousin, your friends. You know, people in the in the park. You know, it's 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 raw, and you know we needed that to 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 show that we're a different league than you're used to. Not saying that we condone, you know, the 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 you know that part of the game, but that is part of the game. So we're not gonna, you know, just pretend it don't exist. We're gonna let guys be themselves. And Kenyon is the he's the definition of being yourself. Cube, in the spring and the summer around here, you know, the sports get slower a little bit, and we get into the conversation a lot, is this a football town or is it a baseball town, and it goes back and forth. But really, Seattle, this is a basketball town. And so there's there's obviously no NBA team here, but I'm curious, what made you choose Seattle and Key Arena for, for this stage as far as your tournament with the Big Three? Because I feel for Seattle. Um, we lost the Rams and the Raiders on the same day. We lost both of our football teams on the same day. I think it was Christmas Eve, 1994. And so any any place that lose their team, I always have, you know, that feeling like, dude, I know they know it might be a team there quick, but it could take 20 years. It yeah. could, take, could take a long time. So when we first put this together, we wanted to take basketball to places – that don't have pro basketball. So we picked places like Lexington, Kentucky. We picked uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, and we picked, you know, Seattle was like one of the first things we said, yo, this is going to be perfect for Seattle. Uh, and we didn't want to just put a regular season game here. We wanted to put the playoffs here because we wanted, you know, the basketball fans here to, to see our guys, you know, at, playing their hardest at their apex, really going at it, you know. Uh, So we felt like this is the perfect opportunity for Seattle to show the world that they deserve a team. They want a team. We know the NBA is watching. 
Uh, we know that uh, Steve was Steve Ballmer. He's from Seattle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He owns the Clippers, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now look. Everybody we can wants do a to bring the Clippers up. We can do a GoFundMe page. <laughs> I, I, don't had a I don't think he needs it, by the way. I mean, but y'all can have the Clippers for cheap. Look, we can, look. Take them, please. Take my. No one Clippers. wants the Clippers. Please take my Clippers. Look, I throw the Chargers in. Yo, listen, that's a good I, I, throw, I throw the Chargers in too. If y'all I don't want know them the too, they're gonna play. Oh. Yo, that's a good. Yo, that's a good idea, man. Yeah. They want their own arena. So why not? Because yeah, why, why not why come not, to Seattle? Hey, I Put like them that. here. That's yeah, what I'm I saying. Like that. So take them. they're more Sacramento, but definitely the Clippers. This Sunday, <laughs> I'm with that. This Sunday is Seattle's opportunity to show the NBA, show the world that you want a team here, you will support a team here, and bring a team back to Seattle. All right, we got I'm a special that. guest. I'm gonna have a special guest that's on the phone line right now. Okay, on the Beacon. This is the first time in his illustrious. Uh, star-studded career of basketball, that I guarantee that this next guest, the first time he's ever been introduced on the Beacon Plumbing Hotline. Stop freaking call Stop Beacon. freaking call Beacon. <laughs> uh, Alan Iverson oh. is on the line right now. Oh, wow. uh, Alan, you're with Kenyon Martin and Ice Cube. I think you've heard of those two guys uh, before. Welcome to the program. How are you? What's up, man? What's up, fellas? What up, Chuck? What up, Chuck? All right, so, Alan, I heard what Kenyon said about you earlier, so AI, I'm going to give you the opportunity. What was Kenyon Martin mean to you as, as a teammate? Um, all heart. Um, definitely all heart. Um, played the game the right way. Definitely um, loved the opportunity of playing with him because um, I didn't get fouled as hard anymore. <laughs> he was... Um, <laughs> Sort of, like, sort of like a protector, you know what I mean? Like, when I did get fouled hard, he'd give somebody that look, and then that'll, you know, tell the story. Let them know not to do it again. What did you guys, Kenyon, Cube, you guys jump in here. Slick like you jump in here as well. Cube, let me start first with, with you. When, when watching this guy play the game of basketball, who didn't, who didn't look like everybody else coming up and playing the way that he played, when you watched him for the first time, what was your reaction? Not just in this league, but in general. When you saw him at Georgetown and saw him in the NBA. I just loved him, you know, loved his style of play, loved him, his passion, um, and just, you know, a guy that was fearless. Um, once I heard he played football, then I understood, yeah. you know, why he, how he played basketball like that. And um, he was just amazing, man. And, and, you know, whenever I got a chance to see AI play, you know, I, I felt like, you know, it was a special time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you sitting down to a fine dinner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can go to to some, you know, whack little restaurant. But when you go to that one where you know what you're going to order, and you like, so he's like fine wine to me. You know, it's just like a, you know, um, a great, a great American sports hero to me. And so, you know, I, I've followed him forever. You know, and getting him to be a part of this league was it was magic to me. It was mm-hmm. like, it was the, it was the thing where I felt like, you know, um, it was a signal. You know what I mean? To me, it was a signal from God saying, "Yo, this is gonna work. This is gonna work." Can you give me a, yeah. give me a, give me a funny? You chime in on that. Give me a funny. Oh, yeah, no, story. Give me a good story me. about AI. Um, playing with him a yeah, moment. No, nah, yeah, he can just um, like people don't know, like 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 Chuck, a big time Michael Jackson fan. So the first time you hear, like, I'm saying you hear him sing with Michael Jackson, you like, is that coming from you? Like, you're like, yeah. I'm like, all right, that's what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, but, man, he's a good dude, man. Um, like I said, just seeing him, I see a smaller version of me. Mm. I'm saying, like, that heart, that determination. Um, people didn't give him a chance, but I'm going to show you. You know, so that's what it's about, man. All right, AI, we're going to put you on the spot. Can, can you hum a Michael Jackson tune? Man, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're not gonna not gonna pull that off. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So what's your what's your status? In, in person, in person, I could do it. In person, you could do it. Yeah. In person, you could do it. Yeah. Uh, what's your status? Yeah. What's your status for this weekend? Oh, I'm there. Um, I'm just gonna you know come here, coach my team, definitely um get out there, interact with the fans like I've been doing. Um, just get up and close. And personal with them, um, sign some autographs, take some pictures, you know what I mean? And and hopefully, you know, the fans that come out to see me, it can be something that they, um, you know, remember and cherish 
for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? I hope everybody come out and support um, like they've been doing in all the other cities. And um, everybody have a good time. That's what it's all about. You know, the um, guys putting on the show and the fans coming out there supporting it, everybody leaving, um, feeling good about what they saw and what they um, what they witnessed. And Trilogy remaining undefeated. <laughs> oh, all the God. money's on Trilogy. Uh-huh. No more. <laughs> <laughs> AI, Think it's, of his mouth, man. Yeah. AI, it's, it's 2017, so it's it's been a couple years since you played in the league. But, uh, you know, being in sports, yeah. obviously. A couple. <laughs> <laughs> he was being kind. <laughs> I was trying to ask. Uh, it's, obviously, we get to move around and travel and everything. But it doesn't matter. It seems like no matter mm-hmm. what year it is, no matter what city I'm in, the Philadelphia, the three, it's the jersey that I see everywhere. What is it about you that you've been able to kind of transcend and stay relevant and stay up uh, top of mind for, for NBA fans even now in 2017 uh, after your playing days? First of all, man, it's a, it's a blessing. You know what I mean? Um, God gave me a talent um, that I feel like he could only give to me. And, um, you know, uh, I feel like just the fans – um, the loyal fans will um, always continue to support me, um, definitely. And, and that's how loyal fans are. No matter what, your ups, your downs, tribes and tribulations, they stick with you, you know what I mean? And I think um, I stick in people's minds because I gave them a memory, you know what I mean, something that they uh, remembered and, and cherished, you know what I mean? I gave them uh, some moments that they'll never forget, and um, I guess that's why people still – support me and, and support the fact that I was so authentic when I played. Hey, AI, a last question. We'll, we'll let you go. We appreciate your, your time, and I, I think it is the first time in, in your career that you join a show on the Beacon Plumbing Hotline, and I think it's just that's got to be a big day. Oh, thanks big for day for you. I know. For uh, how much when you faced off against Gary Payton, how much talking mm-hmm. took place during that game between you two? I, I never was a talker. Really? And, uh, me and him were very – never, never, never. I, I only talk when somebody says something to me. Um, I, I tried to always let my game do the talking. But um, with me and GP were, were – it was like a, a little brother, big brother type, type thing. So we never had that animosity on the court with each other anyway, you know what I mean, because we were so cool with each other off the court. So I had never had a real, you know, interaction with him um, as far as trash talking – on the court. It was always, you know what I mean, we just played the game and that was it. I know that's uh, unusual for Gary Payton, you know what I mean, because you always see him <laughs> woofing with somebody and, you know what I mean, I was just glad I ain't had to be on the other end of that. Yeah, that's great. Appreciate your time, man. Uh, have fun this weekend. We can't wait to uh, see you here in Seattle. Likewise, man. Thanks for having me. All right, there he is, uh, Alan Iverson on the Beacon Plumbing Hotline. Uh, Cube, I know you're sticking around. Kenyon, it was a pleasure. It was fun. Appreciate it. Good luck yeah, to your yeah, Cowboys sir. until we see you. When is the game? Uh, Christmas Eve. Christmas oh, Eve. Yeah. Then we're, I'm going to say 34-27 Seahawks. Merry Christmas. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyon Martin, you can catch him here uh, this weekend. Uh, the Big Three Basketball League, the semifinals taking place over at Key Arena, big3.com slash tickets. The man who founded this league. Uh, made a little music back in his day, too. Ice Cube will stick around and join us in the next segment. <laughs>